Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Now, for the next few weeks, um, for the top list videos, I'm going to be doing something that I never thought I'd be doing. Um, I did a video many years ago talking about all my favorite movies of all time that I have on DVD, and um, it wasn't in top list form. And there were like only a select few, like I think around 20 titles or something. Well, I decided to do like, you know, kind of an interesting title. You know, a lot of movie buffs have done this, but I haven't done it myself. Um, I'm going to talk about my top 50 favorite movies of all time. Now, the, it's going to be split into multiple parts. Um, like, every week I'm going to be going through, like, at least 10 titles at once, or 9. Like, between 9 and um, 10 titles, because, you know, there's a lot to talk about here. And um, with the time that I have to filming on my phone, it would it would be impossible to do as just one video. So I'm going to split it into different parts. Um, now, um, ironically, I've been working on this list for quite a while. Um, I actually did this list like a long time ago, basically just for fun, and never thought to do a video on it. But as of late, I'm like, you know, why not? Now, um, these are movies that um, I consider as like my favorites. Um, I'll explain briefly why they're my favorites. And um, it's just my opinion, too. Like, if you dislike any of these movies, that's fine. Um, I know some people may find this list kind of weird, but... You know, it's basically just my, my kind of list, you know. Sometimes a lot of movie buffs lists are kind of like the same stuff over and over again, but it is more interesting um, to hear, you know, um, different kinds of movies from someone else's all-time favorite movies list. And um, I just, like, scribbled around, like, trying to place them in the best ranking and stuff. And you know, although it's not going to be, like, you know, a complete list, um, but, you know, 50 films, you know, it's like there's some that I really like, like, much better than others. So I'm going to be ranking them. Now, um, this week I'm going to be ranking from 50 to 41. I'm talking about um, some of those movies in my top 50 list. So we're just going to go through 50 to 41 as planned. Alright, let's get on with the list. At number 50 is Jumanji. Now, um, Jumanji is um, one of my favorite Ron Williams films. And um, when I was a kid, I adored this film. I thought it was awesome. Um, the concept with the board game coming to life, I thought was... Um, very amazing. And um, the CGI, well, when you look back at it now, like the CGI in that film is really dated, but um, although I thought it was a really fun, action packed film, film, and for something that Ron Williams was doing, it was, you know, like you think it wouldn't work, but I think it worked so well. Um, and um, such a fun film. And even Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, which is a reboot. Um, I like that one as well, um, but the original Jumanji will always have a special place in my heart. Now, um, 49 is um, Eddie Murphy's Dr. Doodle. I have not seen the original version nor the new one that Robert Downey Jr. was in. I'm only talking about the first Dr. Doodle with Eddie Murphy. When I was a kid, I used to watch this movie all the time. Like, um, like, like a lot on VHS and even on DVD. I did a, like a movie review of it um, a long time ago. And... Um, like, like, I loved it as a kid, but, like, as an adult, it's, like, one of those movies, like, you kind of lose interest in as you grow, grow older, but, um, I thought that it was a, a very, kind of, like, a funny movie, um, and <laughs> a lot of memorable scenes I can think of, and Eddie Murphy was funny in that, and in my opinion, I think it's the best Dr. Doolittle movie that, um, when it comes into these, um, like, there's a lot of Dr. Doodle movies with the kind of like the same characters, if not with the same cast. But the first Dr. Doodle, I think, is my favorite. Um, number 48 is a film that not that many people talk about, or I don't hear anyone discuss it. It's The Pacifier, starring Finn Diesel. I remember seeing that movie in the theaters, and it I thought it was very hilarious. Um, it's about Finn Diesel as this um, kind of secret agent who has to go undercover to watch over these kids. That um, at first are like pains in the bus to them, but um, you know, and then over time, um, he he they started to get get along and stuff. And it's like one of those movies that's kind of hard to explain and try not to spoil a lot. But um, the Pacifier is a Disney film from 2005, and I'm sure the film's on Disney Plus. If you haven't seen it and you like Vin Diesel, and you want to see him in the comedy, definitely go watch it. It's one of my favorites. Um, number 47 is. Probably the only Christian film I have on the list. Um, it's the first God's Not Dead. When I first saw this in theaters, it was an interesting experience. Um, like, I went to see this film with a group of friends, and I didn't know what it was at the time. I didn't hear anything about it. So I went to this movie knowing absolutely nothing. 
and um, I, I really, I really liked it though. Um, and I have seen all the God's Not Dead films. I think the first one's the best. The third one's not that bad. Neither is the second one. But um, the first God's Not Dead, you know, I have no idea where it was going, and I just, I, I, I just liked it though. Um, and it's not one of those movies where it shoves the message down your throat very easily. This was like well paced and stuff, and who can forget the quote? God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. I just, I just like that. Yeah, um, yeah, so that's God's Not Dead is the one I would put on my top 50 list, at least at the bottom. All right, number 46, of course, is an obvious one, is Back to the Future. Um, there's other films that, um, that I have on the list that I like. But like, the first Back to the Future, of course, you all know that movie. Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, The DeLorean, Going Back in Time in 1955. Like, it's a classic. And it's very cool to hear that both these movies, I believe, or maybe the first one, I don't know. I don't have 4K, but it's been released on 4K this week, and I'm sure it will look excellent in 4K. But the first Back to the Future, of course, I have to mention. Um, it's one of my favorite Michael J. Fox movies, and one of my favorite um, like movies from the 80s, and I really wish I have a DVD copy of it still. Like, I used to have like the old three movie set, and then it disappeared, so I gotta rebuy that at some point, but... The first Back to the Future, I love that film. You can't go wrong with it. Um, number 45, and I have a bunch of childhood favorites on here, by the way, and this is a childhood favorite, um, is Chicken Run, the DreamWorks film that came out in 2000, I believe. And I remember seeing this, I think I saw this at a drive-in, like, when I was very young. Like, I'm having vivid memories of seeing it at the drive-in when I was, like, seven. And it's a clay anime movie, and for clay animation for its time, it's very impressive. And um, I thought it was very funny, very memorable characters, and, you know, it's, also, it's like probably my favorite out of the clay animated films by these people. Um, I think it was the same people that made Wallace and Gromit. Um, Chicken Run is definitely hilarious. If you haven't seen it, go watch Chicken Run. It's on Hulu for my last check. It's, it's a very funny movie. Um, number 44 is um, 51st State, starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. It's another one I saw in theaters. And um, I thought, when it comes to Adam Sandler movies, um, like, I've always been a fan more of his um, romantic comedies. Um, I still like a few of his, like, slapstick comics, but sometimes he can be hit and miss. But um, 51st Days is my favorite romantic comedy that he's done. Um, it's about him meeting Drew Barrymore. What he doesn't know is that um, Drew Barrymore was in a car accident the year before that um, caused her to have short-term memory loss. So um, she would not remember... Um, like, she would remember the events that happened before the accident, but after, she would not remember. It would be wiped clean from her memory as she sleeps. And, um, Adam Sandler just, like, try to, like, work it out and stuff, like, going on multiple dates with her. And it's, it's just a sweet, sweet movie. Number 43 is the film version of the Beverly Hillbillies. And I don't know if that many people heard about this one, unless you're a Jim Varney fan. Um, Jim Varney of Ernest fame, um, plays Jed Clapton in this. And I never, I don't think I've ever seen an episode of the TV show. I probably have, but I'm not sure, but... Has a great cast. Um, it's got Rob Schneider, um, Coris Leachman as Granny, and um, Lily Tomlin. It, I mean, it's such a hilarious, hilarious movie. It's from 1993, and I think the same director of Wayne's World directed this film as well. And it, it's, it's a funny one. Number 42. Um, I haven't seen this movie in years, so I gotta watch it again. But I remember being obsessed with the film at the time when I was a kid. as Small Soldiers. From um, 1998. Um, it's kind of like Dreamworks version of Toy Story. But slightly darker. I just remember being very obsessed with it. Like any movies. Involving like talking toys. I'm always obsessed over. Um, but Small Soldiers. It's probably one of those films. I probably would not like as much. If I watch it back again. But my, you know, I, 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 I gotta watch it again. It's, a, it's one of my. Probably, it was like one of those movies. I remember seeing at the drive-in. When I was very young. And just liking it. Uh, like I said, I've not watched in a long time. Now, number 41 is the last one I'm going to, you know, say for this part, is um, The Brave Little Toaster. That movie I remember watching a lot on TV, um, renting it all the time, and it's always been like a childhood favorite. It took me until like, I don't know, seven years ago or so to pick up the DVD because I never owned it on VHS. I probably have, but I don't remember. It was probably recorded off, off of TV or something, but... Um, the Brave Little Toaster, like, like, the concept sounds silly, but when you watch the film, it's very unique. 
Um, it's about five household appliances going out on the journey looking for their master who has never come home. Like, they haven't seen him in a long time. And um, it's definitely a film I think kids today would enjoy. I'm sure the movie's on Disney Plus. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't even have Disney Plus. I'm just guessing here. If you want to, if you're interested in watching this movie, you wonder, like, how you're going to watch it. Like, if you don't want to buy it on Blu ray or something, then um, probably want to watch it streaming. But um, The Brave Little Toaster is a fun kids film. Um, I talked about not too long ago, talking about that one scene that used to scare me as a kid. But um, The Brave Little Toaster is definitely a fun one to watch. So um, those are my picks for. Um, as of now, 50 through 41. Um, very soon, um, probably next week or so. It just depends on my schedule. I'll be going through 40 to 31. Talk about more of my um, top 50 favorite movies. So thank you guys so much for watching um, the first part. And um, be on the lookout for part two where I talk about more of these movies. This is becoming very exciting. So see you then. Adios.